he's going to follow the money. Yeah, there is reporting about those money trails, and there's also been some significant pushback from the White House on that. The president, in an interview with the New York Times, saying that uh, pursuit of financial uh, deals prior to his campaign would be out of bounds. It would violate, uh, essentially, the portfolio of the special counsel. Uh, Jay Sekulow sort of repeating that same notion that he would object, and the lawyers for the president would object to following the trail of, say, real estate deals that happened six or seven years ago. What's your response to that? They have no legal power and no moral case to try to constrain a grand jury. The grand jury has an authority that is uh, part of the rule of law. And by the way, as a prosecutor, as the United States Attorney for Connecticut for four and a half years, I've seen grand juries often develop their own questions and want to know about financial transactions. They are composed of ordinary citizens who often have very good questions. And the other reason I think this grand jury is going to be important to the special counsel is that we are dealing here with a potential indictment of the highest ranking official in the United States of America. So Bob Mueller is want to, going to want to know how the average citizen reacts to this evidence. It's going to be a very good sign for him of what a jury a regular jury at trial might react to. We're a bit ahead of ourselves. There's no conclusive proof of any crime here. But very importantly, that grand jury can ask its own questions. So for the president or any part of his staff to say they're going to draw lines is completely inappropriate. Succinctly, I want you just to clarify, when you say we're dealing with the potential of an indictment of the highest ranking official in the U.S., you mean you, you believe it is a possibility that for an indictment of the president of the United States? It is certainly a possibility. There's a lot of authority that uh, there cannot be an indictment of the president. When I say authority, there's no real legal case law, right. but there are pretty good legal arguments against it. Still, if he is out of office, there could be an indictment, and there could be indictments of lower-level officials and members of his family. All right. Senator Richard Blumenthal, thank you. Thank you.